so today we will learn about solar furnace solar furnace consists of a huge concave reflector you can see here a concave mirror which is a converging mirror means it will form real images as it will converge all the rays coming towards it at a fixed point where the image will be formed thus the image can be obtained on a screen and that image is known as real image here we can see a concave mirror with the reflecting surface on the left side so if light comes from infinity and fall on a concave mirror we know that these rays will converge on the focus so here we are telling means we are talking about a solar furnace we know what is a furnace a furnace is a place where generally metals are melted to the liquid state so here the word solar means the energy coming from the sun so here we are assuming that it is a sun giving it a yellow color yes now so the sun is at infinity with respect to the concave mirror okay so the sun rays would be coming like this this let us assume it means let us take two days only we have to keep the object in a crucible and we should we should place that crucible at the focus where the rays of the sun will converge and in that point the temperature will be very high that is approximately 4000 degree centigrade so i told that the object should be kept at the focus so let me take a rod of certain metal so here it is coming like this if the rays are parallel to the principal axis we know that it will converge at the focus okay so the point here would be very hot that is approximately 4000 degree centigrade but if we consider many rays coming from the sun actually we should take two rays for not making the area congested so if we take rays like this all are parallel
if we don't give arrow on the rays, then the whole diagram is wrong. So here we are seeing that some of the rays are obstructed by the object. Thus, all the rays of the sun are not getting to the concave mirror. So the efficiency would be less to some extent. So keeping this deficiency in mind, we will rectify our diagram so that the efficiency would increase. So let's see. Here we can see that the blue dot is the center of curvature. I have, I have expressed it in legends. The blue dot is the center of curvature. The orange dot is the focus. The red dot is the pole and the yellow line is the principal axis. Okay. So here we will try to rectify it. Now we should keep this concave meter in such a way that the sun's position is like this. Give it a yellow color. Yes. And if therefore if we keep the sun in this position and keep the object suppose we should copy the top only copy paste yes so we will keep the object here so no sunlight is obstructed by the object so we here we can see like this coming like this only a rough drawing so no light is obstructed okay let me take it yes now let us again draw the ray diagram this ray is incident on the pole yes the pole and we know that if the ray is incident on a pole the principal axis acts as a normal so this one will be angle i is only a rough drawing, not drawn to scale. So this one will would be angle R. And according to the law of reflection, angle I equals to angle R. Okay. Next we would take another day passing through the focus
and we know that if a ray passes through focus then it will get reflected parallel to the principal axis so let's draw should be a local yes Yes, this will go parallel. I think so it is a parallel. Yes. So here we are seeing that the rays are converging at this point. Thus the temperature on this point, let us take it T. So T equals to 4000 degree centigrade approx and i am talking about the efficiency of this diagram this diagram is more efficient than the previous one because in this diagram some of the light rays or solar rays coming from the sun is obstructed by the object thus they cannot reach to the concave mirror for performing the reflection process. And here we will see that as many rays as we will take, none of the rays would be obstructed by the object. See, like this, if we take. This if we take like this if we take none of the rays are obstructed by the object so this diagram is more efficient than the previous one as all the rays are performing the process of reflection and all the rays are converging at a point thus this process would be happening faster than this process and more amount of energy that can be more than 40,000, uh, 4,000 degree centigrade. I told that one is the approx. It can be more or less. Here, we will get one new term, which is not there in this diagram. That is focal plane. I told that they converge at the focus point or the focus, but if the position of the object emitting the light, it is falling on the concave mirror changes, then it will converge on the plane of the focus. So this one is the focal plane. This plane is perpendicular to the focus point. So I think you've understood this solar furnace. Thank you.